is indeed race number two of qualifying number two, round six of the Five Nations of British Running Cross Championship. And we are green light racing and Oliver von Donovan's got a fantastic start here. He's going to be forced to take the joker though, as it indeed does go three into one into turn number one. And there's a bit of a mistake there actually uh, by the looks of things uh, from uh, Vittles. And Vittles didn't make it to the grid. What am I talking about? I'm wrong. Uh, it is indeed uh, Jack Thorne who does take the lead of this race. It was Toehill that ran wide. And as we then head up towards Wow, there's a big bit of contact there, and Julian Godfrey has been spun all the way round. That is going to be race over there, and it looked like Jack Thorne may have got on the power a little bit too early, tried to hold on to the position, and then there was just a little bit of nudging, and unfortunately all weight was lost then for that Fiesta, and Godfrey facing the wrong way. Hopefully he can indeed just get to the end of this race, make sure he crosses that line, because that is the all-important factor of qualifying. What a shame it is here as we head then on to lap number two. It's still Jack Thorne then that leads the way. Toehill with an indifferent start into turn number one has managed to indeed get right up to the back here of Thorne. Surprised he didn't decide to joker there. And with that contact, does that open the door here for Ollie O'Donovan? Again, he is the championship leader. He is the man to beat as it stands. And maybe with a bit of an opportunity here because he jokered early, got a fan fantastic launch off the line and actually Tristan Ovenden is going with him nicely here in D. Jack Thorne then leads the way down Harry Hill we come in towards that final corner again looking at the top end of this circuit here at P3 and P4 and does anyone decide to come in I'll tell you that's a mistake there by Thorne Thorne there runs a little bit wide on entry into that final chicane and ultimately it may have cost him a little bit of speed going in towards turn number one but ultimately he is into the Joker. He's done and dusted is our P2 of Toehill. Does Toehill merge though ahead here of Oli O'Donovan? Oli O'Donovan then has to switch over to the high side here and actually lose his time to Tristan Ovenden. And Toehill has done the job then. He's ahead of that group behind. And now, over the next few corners, can he gain enough time to go out and take race victory here? Again, I'm not sure it's going to be the quickest of times due to the battling we've seen on circuit. And actually, O'Donovan there making a massive, massive error. But ultimately, Ovenden was not able to read the situation and not able to make the move. So here we go. We are indeed going to be heading on to the final lap of this race. And well, who is going to come out on top here? Into the Joker, of course, will come the race leader. Toehill there, you can see, coming through Chesson's Drift. And he just about tags the wall on the entry there. And as we merge, it is going to be the lead for... Well, Thorne has just been incredible all weekend. So Jack Thorne does have the lead here already. Uh, in qualifying number one, it looks like he's going to try and go out and get the victory in qualifying number two. And he really does mean business this weekend. Up to the top end of the circuit once again we come. And what a performance it's been so far. Jack Thorne, only a couple of corners to go here. And can he potentially take victory once again? Looks like there's a nice little battle there for P3. It's not going to come into fruition, but look at this. Jack Thorne does take a victory once again. Toehill threw everything at him, but wasn't quite good enough. Uh, unfortunately for him. Ollie O'Donovan then, who got a phenomenal launch off the line, is P3. 